today we're going to have a look at the simple present tense right so this is the part with most of you want to actually learn tenses tenses right so in English everyone wants to learn about the tenses but because we're doing this at the beginner level we'll have a look at it in a very simple manner right other api baranne anne sarala vartamana kala kriya gana then godak velawata english bhashawa kiyala gathama godak ayata karanna one me tenses present tense okay anna mokadda monata use karanne e hinda then make avela basic level like a beginner level like a hinda api saralawa balamu mokadda me simple present tense ekak kiyala kiyanne saha api eka use karanne mona velawata da කොහොමද අපි යූස් කරන්නේ හරියට right so we can have a look at how do we write a correct sentence in the simple present tense right when do we use it what is the sentence structure we are not going to learn it in terms of complex sentences but very simple sentences right the simple present tense expresses a general truth right what does that mean it means that usually when we talk about general truths we can use the simple present tense right apita simple present tense ekak pavichchi karanna puluwan samanyen tiyena atta dewal gana katha karana kota let us have a look at it the earth goes around the sun the sun is here and the earth goes around it that's a general truth which you and i we all know about it often snows in winter when it is winter it's really cold and we know that most of the time snow falls so that again is a general truth then api balamu the earth goes around the sun right sun ekak thiyena ira thiyena ira watte prithviya yana right eka api danna samanya deyak hamoma danna obath danna mamath danna api hamoma danna samanya deyak අපි සාමාන්‍ය දෙයක් ගැන කතා කරන කොට ඒ වගේ අපි යූස් කරනවා ප්‍රසන්ට් ටෙන්ස් එක. It often snows in winter. ශීත ඍතුව කාලේ ගොඩක් වෙලාවට හිම වැටෙනවා. දැන් ඒකත් අපි හැමෝම දන්නවා ශීත ඍතුවට හිම වැටෙනවනේ ගොඩක් වෙලාවට ගොඩක් රටවල් වල. ඒක දන්න හින්දා එක සාමාන්‍ය ඇත්තක් හින්දා අපි සිම්පල් ප්‍රසන්ට් ටෙන්ස් එක තමයි යූස් කරන්නේ. goes and snows are words which are used in the simple present tense we use the simple present tense to talk about things that are planned for the future right then api simple present tense ekak pavichchi karanawa api anagathe karanna yana deyak gana හැබැයි ඒක අපි plan කරලා ඉවර නම් විතරයි අපි simple present tense එක පාවිච්චි කරන්නේ right now that means for an example now it has already been planned that in the future the activity will happen if that is the case we can use the simple present tense right The train departs in five minutes. Let's take an example, right? I go to the train station, and the train which is supposed to go towards Moratua leaves every day, right, at six o'clock. Okay, it's planned. We know that it leaves at six o'clock. So I go there at about five fifty-five, and I ask someone, you know, uh, what time does the train depart? That person could tell me the train departs in 5 minutes let us have a look at some of the examples the train departs in 5 minutes now as you know trains leave at a specific time 
right? They don't go at random times. It has been planned that each train will depart from the train station, will leave its platform at a specific time. So, for an example, let's think that um, a train which is bound towards Morotua leaves at 6 o'clock. I rush in to the train station at 5.55 and I ask someone, okay, what time does the train leave towards Morotua? They could tell me the train departs in 5 minutes, right? Even though the activity is going to happen in the future, we still can use the simple present tense because the activity has been planned already that it will happen in the future. So for activities like that, you could use the simple present tense, right? The plane lands at 5.30 p.m. It is the same with planes. They don't land at random times in any airport that they want, right? It is always been predetermined or planned as to when the landing will happen. So therefore, you can say that the plane lands at 5.30 p.m. Granddad retires next year. So, if we take granddad and let's draw a timeline here, right? So this is at the present, okay? This is my granddad, okay? Don't worry about my pictures, they're not that great, right? This is granddad and this is the future. This is the past, right? Granddad is going to retire next year. So this is where he retires, right? So he's going to retire and that's going to happen exactly in one year. So has Granddad planned for it before? Yes, he has, okay? Because it has been planned, even though the activity happens in the future, we use the simple present tense. Right, let us go back. Api simple present tense ka pavichi karana va yam kisi deagena kata karan anagate vena. Hebei e anagate vena de api dang plan karala ivarai. Eke nika ono na vela avata vena puluan dea neve. Nishchitavama eka me davase. Ho me velave, ho au me aurudde, venama kian puluan nang, e kriava anagate siddha unat, plan karlati bila deng e gana kiana kota, apita use karana puluang, simple present tense seka. Sarala vartamana kala kriava, pavichi karana pulua. Then api balamu example leka. The train departs in five minutes. Coach here, tha vinadi pahakin tamai pitat venni. Then, coach here, khamati se mo ono na velavata yaan ne. Ekati yam kisi nishchita velava tiyano. Api then gatto te example leka khati yata api kiyamu nuara balayana coach here pitat veno hai ta khiyara. Mama avila pahai panas pahadu duwagan avila train station ne kiyadi keneggi ngahano me nuara te yana coach here kiyadi te pitat venni. एक ना मटु उत्तर देना वा the train departs in five minutes तब इनाली पाहकिंग कोचे पिटत फेने ए मुकदा ए टेंस का यूज़ कराने पुलवांग मुकदा अनागते तमाय एक फेने दैन ने फेने कोचे पिटत ने तब इनाली पाहकिंग नमूत ए पिटत फेने वेला अवर प्लान करले इवराई दैन खाता करने कोटे गया ना एक अप्लान करले इवराई याना वेला अव अन्य ए हिंदा अपेक्षित नवा ए वागे वेलावन वर्दी सिंपल प्रेजेंट टेंस का यूज़ कराने पुलवा एक अ फ्यूचर एका क्या ना फ्यूचर टेंस का टाइप देगा नेवे द प्लेन लैंड्स एट 5:30 पीएम प्लेन ने कहा लैंड कराने वेलावस जहाँ कोहिद लैंड कराने की है ने का निश्चित है अपनी काम ओन ओन वेलावट तैनिंथना लैंड करा� 
ඒ වගේ තමයි ආ මේ ප්ලේන් එක කීයටද ලෑන්ඩ් කරන්නේ ඒක ලෑන්ඩ් කරන්නේ පහ මාරට හවස රයිට් ඒක නිශ්චිතවම කියන්න පුළුවන් හින්ද ඒක ප්ලෑන් කරලා ඉවර හින්ද අනාගතයේ ක්‍රියාව සිද්ධ වුණාට අපි යූස් කරන්නේ සිම්පල් ප්‍රසන්ට් ටෙන්ස් එක රයිට් ඊළඟ එක්සැම්පල් එක බලමු ග්‍රෑන්ඩ් ඩැඩ් රිටයර්ස් නෙක්ස්ට් ඊ ග්‍රෑන්ඩ් ඩැඩ් කියන්නේ මගේ සීය ග්‍රෑන්ඩ් ෆාදර් ග්‍රෑන්ඩ් ඩැඩ් දෙකම එකයි ලබන අවුරුද්දේ රිටයර් වෙනවා රයිට් දැන් අපි බලමු රයිට් මෙතන මං ඇඳලා තියෙන පින්තූර මොනවද කියලා රයිට් මේ ඉන්නේ මගේ සීය මේ වර්තමාන කාලය right p කියලා කියන්නේ present tense මේ අතීතේ මේ අනාගතේ future දැන් කවද්ද මගේ සීය රිටයර් වෙන්නේ අවුරුද්දකින් ඒ කියන්නේ අනාගතේ වෙන්න යන දෙයක් මොකක්ද දෙයා වෙන්නේ රිටයර් වෙනවා දුක් මුසු මොනවක් තියෙන්නේ රිටයර් වෙනවා කියන එකට right එතකොට ඒක plan කරලා ඉවරද සීය රිටයර් වෙන දවස ඔව් අපි දන්නවා නිශ්චිතව මෙයා plan කරලා ඉවරයි ලබන අවුරුද්ද රිටයර් වෙනවා කියන එක. ඒ හින්දා ක්‍රියාව අනාගතයේ සිද්ධ වුණාට අපි ඒක ප්ලෑන් කරලා ඉවර නම් දැන් වෙනකොට අපි ඒ වගේ ඇක්ෂන්ස් වලට යූස් කරන්නේ සිම්පල් ප්‍රසන්ට් ටෙන්ස් එක. රයිට්? සෝ ක්වික්ලි අගේන් ලෙට් මී රන් ත්‍රු ඉට් ටු රිමයින්ඩ් යු when we use the simple present tense we use the simple present tense to talk about things or actions that are planned for the future let's have a look at an exercise right underline the verbs in the following sentences right then i want to touch on one thing before we go to this exercise i think it will be useful for you in the present tense if you use it with singular subjects natang kriyawa karana kena singular nang she maya he it right the verb becomes an s form example maya likes okay maya likes to eat bananas she likes to eat bananas he likes to eat bananas i'm going to keep some dots you can put whatever remaining part of the sentence it likes to eat bananas right joy likes to eat bananas right make the mataka tiya ganna one ekak tiyena maya likes to eat bananas she likes to eat bananas he likes to eat bananas it likes to eat bananas joy likes to eat bananas මේ හැම එකක්ම සිංගියුලර් ඉෆ් යු කැන් සී ඕල් ඔෆ් දී සබ්ජෙක්ට්ස් ආ සිංගියුලර් ඉෆ් යුවර් සබ්ජෙක්ට් ඉස් අ සිංගියුලර් ද වර්බ් හැස් ඇන් එස් ටු දී එන්ඩ් නව් ස්පෙලින්ග් රූල්ස් ආයි ඩිඩ් රයිට් ස්පෙලින්ග් රූල්ස් ඔයගොල්ලන්ට මතක නම් මම කරා නවුන්ස් වල කරා වර්බ්ස් වල පුරවන් ඒවා කරා ඉතින් මතක තියා ගන්න ඕනේ මම කියනවා එස් ෆෝම් එස් කියන්නේ එක්ක එස් ඇඩ් කරන්න පුළුවන් නැත්තම් ඊඑස් ඇඩ් කරන්න පුළුවන් නැත්තම් අයිඊඑස් ඇඩ් කරන්න පුළුවන් which ever it is the s form should be there right මතක තියා ගන්න ඕනේ වර්බ් එකට s form එක ඇඩ් වෙනවා when i say s form මතක තියා ගන්න ES වෙන්නත් පුළුවන් IES වෙන්නත් පුළුවන් right S එකෙන් ඉවර වෙන්න ඕනේ so here what you have to remember is that if the subject is 
singular. Maya, she, he, it, joy. Right? They are all singular subjects. And therefore, your verb needs to be in the S form. Right? S form means either you can add the S or the ES or the IES. If you remember, we had a look at the spelling rules initially. Right? So here, we are not going to touch on the spelling rules. But it has to be an S form. We don't say she liked to eat bananas. Wrong. He liked to eat bananas. Wrong. Appi he liked to eat bananas. She liked to eat bananas. I hear most students sometimes say that, but that is wrong. She likes, he likes, right? It likes, Maya likes, Joy likes. Make a singular kaktekana. Right? Next, let's have a look at the plural form. Then apibalamo plural leka teka kohomade yedene kiela. We like. They like. You like Maya and I like okay we like to eat bananas they like to eat bananas you like to eat bananas Maya and I like to eat bananas right when we use it with plural subjects, the verb does not change and we call it the base form of the verb or we call it base verb. It can be a verb because a variation Right? Base verb means there is no variation. No S, no ED, no IES, nothing. Right? It's the base. If it is with a plural subject, then remember it is the base form of the verb. Right? Mataka tiaga nona de aktamai api plural subject te kakti yenavanang. Right? Api lian ne hemati semame verb beka base form kyan original ma verb beka. Eker kisima variation ne kakne. IES, SED, Monavan Tekatukaran, base verb Dekatamai Tian. Example, we like to eat bananas. She, um, sorry, they like to eat bananas. You like to eat bananas. You ekkinekunata mataka de, api plural with the Tamai Garni. Right? Maya and I, Maya Saha Mama, then Nick, we, etagotene, we vageka, kari, like to eat bananas. So, basically, Let's quickly write some sentences so that you all can remember these things, right? She likes to dance. He eats anything it likes to drink milk we like to play they like to dance. Right? Let us quickly have a look at these sentences. Right? She likes to dance. Likes. Why? S form. Because she is singular. Eats. Why? Because he 
is singular. Likes because it is singular. Like because we are plural. Like because they are plural. All right. She likes to dance. He eats anything. It likes to drink milk. We like to play. They like to dance. So what I stress on is the subject so that it will go into your mind. Ah, is it singular or is it plural? Right? Then we will give you examples. So we will practice questions. We will give you an idea of the theoretical part. Singular is the S form of the end. Plural is the base form of the verb. She likes to dance. Likes kiyanne, ay api she kiyanne singular hinda. Eka vachana sarva naamya ki hinda thamay api likes kiyanne ka daan. Eka khamati natanna. He eats anything. Ho onama khama kanwa, right? Netta you can say he likes to eat anything also is fine, right? So, eats kiyanne api mukada eka he kiyanne eka vachana ki hinda. It likes to drink milk. ओनम साथ एक टप्पे ना आओ किरी बोलने क्या मती likes to drink it क्या ने क्या ने किंदा आप क्या नो एक टेबिला s form में का दानो एक वचन या किंदा s form में का दानो we आप ही आप ही क्या मती सेलांग कराना आप ही क्या ने plural लेका ए हिंदा पियूस कराने like किया ला they like to dance ए गोलो क्या मती नटाने ए गोलो क्या ने गोडाक ए हिंदा पी यूज़ कराने सिंपल प्रेजेंट टेंस के दी बेस फॉर्म में कर राइट सो गोइंग थ्रू एस टू वेयर वी हैड अ स्टॉप राइट वी लर्न्ड दैट द सिंगुलर फॉर्म टेक्स द एस फॉर्म एंड दैट द ब्लूरल द प्लूरल हैज द बेस फॉर्म ऑफ़ द वर्ब राइट let us have a look at the exercise now so that now it will be easier for you, right? Underline the verbs in the following sentences. So now you have to underline the verb and see the children go to school by bus. Children means plural, therefore base form of the verb go. Bats sleep during the day. Bats are plural, therefore base form of the verb. These toys, there are a lot of toys, right? Therefore, belong is the word. Every pupil, every means each and every one, so it's singular, has. Polar bears, a lot of bears live in at the North Pole. Polar bears are a type of uh, bears. They live in the cold weather, especially in the North Pole, right? Then, up here, more sentences were verbs up here underline karanone, right? The children go to school by bus. Lamai is school te ani bus seking. Lamai ki wahama metane ne mukadda plural bahu wachane. A in the base form of the verb dana api. Bats sleep during the day. Vaulu mukadda karane dawase dawal varuata nida agano. Bats ki wahama vaulan ekkinek neve godak a in the base form of the word. These toys belong to Kathy. Me sellam badu aiti Kathy ita. Sellam badu ki wahama godak a in the base form of the verb. Every pupil has a good dictionary. Hammer sisu ektama on the dictionary ekak tiyanama. Hammer sisu ekkum ekkin ekkin api salakana. Ekkin 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 ekkin. Etta kota api kiyanama has kiyanama. There are some other rules also. Every, any, some, eva ayat tekkan rules tikak tiyanama. Etta kapi passe balamu. 
here there is another rule with every, any, many, some. There are rules that go together with countable nouns and countable nouns. We will have a look at that uh, later on in the lessons. Right? Polar bears live at the North Pole. Polar bear kya ni yam kisi bear visheshya ke guru jeevat veni tam atma shita desha guni. Right? So therefore, bears ki wama valasu godak. E hinda it is the base form of the word. Right? Most children learn very fast. Children is plural. Therefore, it is learn. Mr. Thomas teaches a science. Mr. Thomas is one person. Therefore, it is teachers. Right? The earth is just one. Therefore, it goes around the sun. We never cross the street. We is plural, therefore, cross. Many stores, a lot of stores, therefore, close. Right? Mataka Tiaga noni then, most children learn very fast. Then, plural lakakni, most children ki waham godak. E hinda pi use karani, base form maker. Mr. Thomas. Mr. Thomas, S form Teachers. The earth, Prutuvia, Prutuvi goes. Singular, goes. S form. V, Api, Kian, Ekinene, Godak, Ehinda, Base form maker. Many stores, Godak, Kada, Irida, Tavahala. Goda kada ki na kote ikka kata vada vadi plural e hinda base form of the verb. Right? Let's have a look at the next exercise. Fill in the blanks with the simple present tense of the verbs in the parenthesis. Parenthesis kya ne? Varahan or they mean brackets. Apita saampoorna karanalu me sentences present tense ka daala. Echo is form make a echo base form make a Parenthesis means varaha natuliti and a vachane. Parenthesis in other words is brackets, right? Make a meaning is brackets. We don't usually call them brackets, we call them parenthesis, but it's good for you to learn that word. Winter come off, sorry, winter after autumn. Do we say come or comes? Winter come after autumn or winter comes after autumn? Winter comes after autumn. See the ritua enne. Samaning autumn. Make it a pass. Autumn kya ne kola helena kala kola. Tambili verani ka ratu vela api lanka ve. Apita me wa na hai. Seasons na hai. Right? So in Sri Lanka we don't have seasons. But around the world in some countries we have seasons. Winter, autumn, spring, summer, right? So winter is the cold time where you have a lot of snow. Autumn is a time when the leaves start to fall. They are red, orange. In books you have seen beautiful shades of orange and red. The leaves start to fall, okay? After the leaves fall only, we see the winter usually, okay? So make a villa, ikeka ritu, so, see the kale in ne autumn make a pass autumn kiane gaswala kola halila, thambili ratuela, cake a partavela, kola halina. A halila kali virunat pass a seat the lavena patanga no chutta, eat a passata my apitene winteka. Etha kutta winter autumn can eka season neka. Eka season neka kinda because it is one season, winter comes after autumn. A dog barks. Balek burana. Balek ne barks. You kyan ne oba unata. It acts like a plural. Eka act karan ne plural leka kwaage. You look tired. 
everyone make mistakes the makes mistakes the everyone hamoma unata ek act karanne singular ekak wage e hinda everyone makes mistakes hamoma varadi karanawa mataka tiyaganne everyone hamoma kiwata ek act karanne singular ekak wage ali इन डिपार्टमेंट स्टो अली वेड करे डिपार्टमेंट स्टो डिपार्टमेंट स्टो के डिपार्टमेंट स्टो राइट जूडी इंग्लिश वेरी वेल जूडी इज वन पर्सन सो दे आर फोर वी से जूडी स्पीक्स इंग्लिश वेरी वेल අපි කියනවා ජූඩි ඉංග්‍රීසි හොඳට කතා කරනවා ජූඩි කියන්නේ එක් කෙනෙක් ඒ හින්ද අපි ලියන්නේ s form එක tims me hurts tim ගේ දනිස රිදෙනවා right next one monkeys like monkeys කියන්නේ plural form එක කෙසෙල් කන්න කැමති මන්කීස් ලයික් බනානස් වඳුරෝ කෙසෙල් කන්න කැමති කේට් ඔල්වේස් ඊට්ස් සෑන්ඩ්විචස් ෆෝ ලන්ච් කේට් හැමතිස්සෙම දවල්ට කන්නේ සෑන්ඩ්විචස් කේට් ඉස් සිංගියුලර් දෙයර්ෆෝ ඊට්ස් රයිට් කේට් කියන්නේ එක් කෙනෙක් ඒ හින්ද අපි වර්බ් එකේ එස් ෆෝම් එක තමයි ලියන්නේ හි is singular types very fast ohu ikmanatama type karana ohu kiyanne ekkene kinda therefore we use the s form right so let us have a look at what we just did right simple present tense Today we had a look at the most simplest form of the present tense. අපි අද බැලුවේ සරල වර්තමාන කාල ක්‍රියාව ඇත්තටම සරලම users ටික විතරයි. අපි ඔක්කොම බැලුවේ නැහැ අපි සරලව බැලුවා මොනවාද මේලි පාවිච්චි වෙන්නේ මොනවටද කියලා. So the first one was to express a general truth. අපි සාමාන්‍ය ඇත්ත දෙයක් සාමාන්‍යයෙන් වෙන දෙයක් ගැන කතා කරන්න අපි use කරනවා simple present tense එක. we usually use it to talk about uh, general things that happen which you and i we all know about so we had a look at two examples the earth goes around the sun it often snows in winter api hinda examples dekak baluwa iravata prithivi yanawa kiyen eka baluwa samanya wena deyak saha sheetha kaleta hima wetenawa kiyen ekat samanya deyak Then we had a look at another one, which was. Let me just scroll down very quickly. Right, we had a look at the simple present tense, and that is used to talk about activities which are planned for the future. Api belua thava use kak thamai. प्लान करला अनागत ये करने एक्टिविटीज़ वाला टा आप इटे यूज़ कराने पुलवांग सिंपल प्रेजेंट टेंस से कर इट पास से आप ये की निदेश सुनाक बैलुआ निदेश सुन तुनाक बैलुआ ऐसा टा मा वी हैड अ लुक एट थ्री एग्जांपल्स द ट्रेन डिपार्ट्स इन फाइव मिनट्स द प्लेन लैंड्स एट फाइव थर्टी पीएम ग्रैंडडे� एक्सापल्स तो ना इट पास आप वेरी दूर एक्सप्लेन करा ग्रैंड डैड गे एक्सापल लेकर देन ऑफ कोर्स वी हैड अ लुक एट हाउ दिस इज बीइंग फॉर्म्ड राइट प्रेजेंट टेंस द यूज ऑफ इट इन टर्म्स ऑफ सिंगुलर सब्जेक्ट्स इज दैट द वर्ब शुड बी एन एस फॉर्म एंड इफ इट इज प्लूरल द वर्ब विल बी द बेस वर्ब आप ही बैलू आ सिंगुलर सब्जेक्ट्स एक क्या याना वानंग में वा सब्जेक्ट्स माया ही शी इट इट कुड बी अ नाउन नेतना सार्वनाम या क्वेन्ना पुला 
එතකොට verb එක ඇවිල්ලා s form එකක් වෙන්න ඕනේ. හැබැයි අපි plural එකට එනකොට base form of the verb තමයි තියෙන්න ඕනේ. plural එකත් එක්ක. Next we had a look at some of the examples. අපි ඊට පස්සේ examples ටිකක් බලලා finally we did some practice questions. So with that we conclude simple present tense.